Hey everybody, welcome back to The Couch. My name is Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. Today I'm gonna give you five tips for bathing your newborn baby. Let's get right into the video. So this video is a bit of a continuation from a video that I did recently about not bathing your baby in the first 24 to 48 hours after they're born. If you didn't see that video, I'm gonna link it right here so that you can go ahead and watch it and watch that one first so that some of the things that I say in this video will make more sense. Five tips on how to bathe your newborn. I know it might sound very straightforward. You've given yourself a bath a number of times. So you think that it's just simple to bathe your baby. And it is, but sometimes being a new mom or you know just dealing with a very small and very fragile newborn, you might be a little bit apprehensive about giving them their first bath and these tips will help you to be more prepared so that you can do it like a rock star because you are a rock star mama. So the first tip of course is piggybacking off of the other video, delay the first bath. So you do wanna delay the first bath for the newborn between 24 and 48 hours. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it so you can know all the benefits to delaying that first bath. The second tip is have all of your essentials ready. For me, I like to have a caddy in the bathroom as well as a caddy in the room that I will be changing the baby after the bath. So make sure that whatever you need, your towel, your washcloths, your soap, everything that you're gonna need for during the bath and after the bath are right there at the ready. You never wanna leave a baby near or in water. So make sure that you have everything with you so you never leave the baby unattended. Or if you do happen to forget something, you have to take the baby with you. I know that you know that already, but I thought I would say it just in case it's not known to everybody. Having everything right at the ready will help you to do this in a more confident way and in a quick way because if you notice with newborns, they have a very short window where they're okay. As soon as you go too far, they're gonna start crying, they're gonna want their milk, they're gonna wanna be fed, all kinds of things. So you wanna make sure that everything you need is right there at the ready. So my third tip is all about being comfortable. You wanna make sure that you are comfortable bathing the baby and that you find a comfortable environment to bathe the baby be in. So you want to make sure that you're considering the temperature of the room, the temperature of the water, and for the person bathing the baby, you want to make sure that you are comfortable. Are you going to be standing? Are you going to be kneeling? Are you going to be sitting in the tub while you're bathing the baby? Whatever you're choosing to do, make sure that you are comfortable. A method that I like to use to bathe the baby is just to sit on the edge of the tub with the baby on my lap. In another video where I talked about baby essentials, I said the bathtub was not a major essential, and I still stand by that. I don't have one. So the method that I use is just sitting in the tub with my feet in the tub and the baby over my lap. Now I like to use this method because I feel more comfortable and I feel more confident to hold the baby and to get everywhere that I need to bathe and wash and make sure that I'm giving my baby a thorough cleanse. If I'm not sitting in the bathtub that way, I'm often bathing the baby directly in the sink. Now here's something that you wanna consider. If you do wanna have a bathtub, you don't always need to use the bathtub in the larger tub. You can take that out and put it on a counter. Just make sure that you're very comfortable when you're bathing the baby because the baby can get very slippery when you're using the soap. Oh God, wow, what was on that? Butter. Newborns are slippery. Nice touch, good. Let's try that again. And you wanna make sure that you are comfortable so that you have the right stance to bathe that baby. You don't want any mishaps like the baby slipping out of your hand or you losing your balance. My fourth tip is to make sure that you're washing under all of the folds, especially where milk might be trapped. So our baby's necks are sometimes very rolly and their chins touch their neck. So you wanna make sure that you are washing underneath their neck, you have to lift up the chin and make sure you're getting all of those nooks and crannies because the worst thing to have is trapped milk under those spots because that can really, really start to smell over time. Now, if you are going the method of the Ashton Kutcher way and you're not bathing your baby as often or at all, I'm not sure what schedule they're on, you definitely wanna make sure that you're getting in between the neck with a sponge bath very often. I know that there are benefits to delaying the baby's bath as well as making sure that we are not bathing too often, but a sponge bath or wiping them down with a soft cloth is going to help you to reduce any bacteria from building up. It's gonna to help to reduce the smell and just help the baby to feel overall comfortable and warm and protected. So make sure that you are getting underneath the folds. So my final tip before I give you a list of bath time essentials is to make sure that you are not bathing your baby too often. Our baby 
babies dry out very easily. Their skin is so different, especially without that vernix. You remember that coating that protected them right after they were born? Their skin dries out very quickly. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping in as much moisture in their skin as possible. And one way to do that is to ensure that you are not bathing them too often. So before we wrap up the video, as promised, I am gonna give you a list of bath time essentials. Now, if you're watching from your phone, grab a screenshot at the end of the list so that you have the completed list. Otherwise, you can go ahead and save this video for later or write it down as we go along. So here is a list of your essentials. All right guys, now that you're feeling more prepared to give your baby a bath, here are some really cool Couch Mom Club videos that you can enjoy. And don't forget to join the club. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you never miss an upload. Follow me on all your favorite social media accounts and don't forget to check out the merch. The links will be in the description right below that like button. And now it's time to get off the couch and into life.